Hey, hi, hello. Ever since the new MacBook and MacBook Pros have come out, everyone's been looking for the greatest USB-C accessories to go along with it. And I was looking at hard drives, my options were a little bit limited for what I wanted. So I looked at building my own. So we have a combination here of the Crucial SSD and the Sataki Type-C aluminum enclosure for any HDD or SSD in this case. The idea being I could grab a really nice enclosure that worked fully over USB-C without having to have any sort of converting cables and I could pick up a really solid SSD that'd be really nice and fast and get in everything I wanted for less money than if I bought a pre-made one from someone else. The enclosure comes with the actual aluminum case itself as well as a USB-C cable and a little screwdriver so you really don't even need anything other than the hard drive. It is very small. This will work with seven and nine millimeter hard drives, portable two and a half inch hard drives, uh, whether it's an SSD solid state or an actual hard drive disc. It has nothing on one side and a light and a USB-C port on the other. One point of note, this is the space gray version. Compared to other Sataki products, it's really, really light and it's not quite as smooth as the other ones are. Just kind of a weird thing I noticed, it definitely doesn't have the same finish as their other products. To get inside of this enclosure, you simply remove two small screws with the included screwdriver and slide out the inside. Get a little circuit board on one side and two little pads on the other. Take whatever hard drive you'd like to use. We really recommend these crucial drives. They're really, really solid, really fast. They include everything, even some data migration software. They give you a little key code so you can get extra software if you really want it. But they work really nice. They're super slim and they even come with a little adapter to make sure they fit. So this is the one that I've been using and I've gotten great performance out of it. I've used crucial drives many times in the past. So I really like these and they're super, super lightweight. So even though the body of this thing is obviously metal, a little bit on the heavier side, the hard drive itself is super, super slim and lightweight, which keeps that overall weight down. So perfect to throw into my bag. Obviously just has a standard kind of SATA connector, two little plugs on the side, not a lot to see here as far as the actual hard drive itself goes. It's a hard drive or a solid state drive, whatever you want to call it. So we can go ahead and plug it in, simply slide it in, make sure all the orientations line up, get it all the way in and then slide it past those little rubber bumpers on the other side and you're all set. It fits in there perfectly and this is a seven millimeter drive uh, thickness wise. So you can use the spacer if you're worried about it kind of moving around. It's so lightweight and it fits in there nice and tight. I didn't need it. I don't even need it at all, but you can use that spacer. There's a little adhesives on the other side to make sure it actually stays attached to your hard drive and that way it's not going to move around and all inside. But it's not a solid state, so you don't, or it's not a hard drive. There's nothing spinning, no moving parts, so you don't have to really worry about damage to the drive itself too much. But we include that spacer on there, slide it back in until you have it centered, and you can see the little screw holes on the bottom side. Take those same two screws that you removed at the beginning and put them right back in where they came from. Now, boom, you have a 500, over 500 gig solid state drive over USB-C that absolutely flies performance wise and it costs you less than $200. We went ahead and plugged ours in. When you plug it in, the light will turn on when it's actually in use and when it's writing or reading, actively writing or reading, that light will flash to let you know something's actually using the drive at that point. When you plug it in for the first time, like any new drive, you do have to kind of reformat it or initialize it, as macOS will say, but basically just formatting it in whatever file system you want, such as the HSF, or even if you're on the new Macs, the AFS. Now, what would be a hard drive review if we didn't actually check out some speed tests? Well, we threw it all together and pulled over a black magic disk speed test, and we were getting well over 400 megabit per second. I'm actually getting 470 ish on average, which is really, really good. I could not be happier with how fast this thing is, how lightweight it is, and how easy to throw in my bag. The downsides, however, it's a little bit of a lighter finish. It doesn't exactly match my MacBook Pros, and I wish maybe the edges were more curved. I don't want to throw something metal like this in my bag with the chance of it scratching something else. I wish maybe it would have included a little travel case to put it inside so I didn't have to worry about it scratching anything. But that's really the only downsides that I've got. So if you would like to set up one of these for yourself, there's links below in the description. You can go ahead and subscribe, ask questions down below in the comments. And until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.